Hey everyone, this is Sean A.A. Taco Mask bringing you another adventure in Inept Adventures, the series where we try to figure out how to play a game without studying anything about it beforehand. Uh, today's game is Don't Starve. I have played this before, I will admit, but I'm pretty sure I can fake it to um, let you guys get a pretty good idea of, of what you're going to need to to do to, to be able to play this game. Uh, I actually, I don't know that much about it. I haven't played that much. <laughs> so let's let's get started. Now this is a game in the survival genre, uh, a la Minecraft, Terraria, Factorio, uh, any of those games. Uh, so we will be uh, we will be at a slight disadvantage education-wise because I think that's a major point of these games is that you don't know everything going in. We get started with this information. We don't look good, and we better find something to eat before night comes. So we know we've got to worry about time. Uh, let's see what information we've got down here. We've got a bar with some boxes. There's one with a hand, a chest, and a hat. I'm guessing this is for equipment. Uh, and then we have tools, light, survival, science, fight, and dress. Now if we click on these, uh, it looks like we can make stuff if we gather materials, which is probably important. Uh, so on and so forth. So, let's, uh, let's wander around a little bit. Let's see here. Pick flowers. Okay, I can pick flowers. What can I do with them? Looks like I can eat them. Let's see what happens. That seemed okay. Clicked on a butterfly. So, we can definitely pick things that we hover over. Can we do anything else with them? Apparently not. Let's see what else we can hover over. Grass. Okay, so now we've got twigs and cut grass. We can examine the rabbit and get anything else. Let's get some more flowers. What is this? Seeds. Okay. So there's a lot of things we can interact with. Can we... I mean, I'd like to cut down a tree or something, but apparently we can't Minecraft punch it. So... Oh. What is this? Flint. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Now we've gotten some more interactive from the game. Uh, this is turned green, so that probably means we can do something in here. Let's see what we can do. Looks like we can build an axe. Hey, that... And it clearly says right there, chop down trees. So let's do that. Alright, now we've got an axe. It's auto-equipped, which is nice. Let's chop down this big tree here. Got a click and hold. It it seems. So. Takes a little while. We'll pick up the log. We'll pick up the log. We'll pick up the pine cone. We'll pick up the log. And we'll pick up the pine. Let's see. What can we do with these? We can examine them. What can we do with this? We can examine it. Rather humorous. Oh, we can eat these seeds. Well, we found stuff to eat, so that's cool. I wonder if I can... Do I need these? Let's see if we can drop them. Oh! I can plant. Right-click to plant, it says. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we've got new trees growing. That's awesome. Can we... It'll be a tree soon, so I can't chop those down yet. Alright, let's keep exploring a little bit. So... That's supposedly a green mushroom, but it's like... Oh, a carrot. The food's good. We'll keep collecting some stuff, why not? So, we've got biomes. Let's see. Okay, show map tab. Cool. That's our map. We haven't seen very much yet. Let's attack this thing. Okay, that's not a good idea. Run! No, 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 no. No, no, no. That didn't tell me they'd all attack together, but that makes sense. Uh, this one's not leaving me alone, is it? Oh, there he goes. Alright. So, let's... Let's not randomly attack things, even with an axe. Maybe a rabbit. We could probably kill a rabbit. If we could catch it. Hmm. Oh, we've got some green on light. We can make a torch. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and make one, just in case. Alright, we got one. What else do we probably need to make? I'm assuming we probably need to make everything. We can make a campfire with three cut grass and two logs. So let's get some grass. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Alright, now. Now we can make this, but what's this? A fire pit. So that provides light while burning, and this is a safer, more efficient campfire. And that needs 12 stone. Or rocks, apparently. And all we have found so far is flint. Should we go looking for stones, maybe? It seems like if. It's efficient. We probably want it. Oh, and it's already getting late, so... There's a house. Can't go in. Oh, look! A boulder. 
Well, we can't put it in our pocket. Can we build anything that... Okay, we could make a pickaxe if we had some more flint. We'll grab this carrot. Hey, are those berries? Yeah, they are berries. All right, so we've learned that without anything really telling us other than hovering over things, the the instructions in this game are, are more subtle. It's not so much a tutorial that you need to watch as it's trial and error, but it's pretty blatant, you know? Obviously, you're gonna wanna hover over things. What is this? Wormhole? Well, it doesn't say anything bad will happen. Okay, I don't think this is somewhere I want to be. Oh, but look, rocks. Ooh. I think we're going to leave. <laughs> so, for future reference, that takes us to spider rocks. Which are apparently all the way down here. That's really cool that it shows up on the map like that. It's a shame we can't get to those rocks. And I'm not seeing any more flint. And I'm guessing from this little dial that when it's in the dark, it's nighttime. We'll probably need to collect stuff for a fire. Most everything should burn, right? Okay. Oh, remember we learned earlier that we can boop, plant that right back. What else do we have around here? Hey, more rocks. Are those the same rocks we saw earlier? Probably the same since it's already on the map. Uh, we're really looking for another piece of that flint stone so we can make a pickaxe. Oh, what can I make now? A trap. Capture small creatures. Okay, do I just... It looks like I just place it like I do other things. Um, can we do it like this? Nope. Well, those look like animal holes. Let's see if we can examine them. It is a rabbit hole. Alright. And let's, uh, let's equip that, uh, that torch we got there. Uh-oh. This is not good. I don't know what this means. I would assume it means it's cold. But... So this is not good. It looks like we're getting hungry and it looks like we're hurt. Probably from those buffalo things. All I can find is seeds. Fireflies. Light. I don't... That's probably not a good idea, is it? I mean... Let's see what happens. Oh. Got a nice fire going, that's nice. It's handy, right? Let's make it brighter. This is, this is fine, right? Well, it didn't say it was gonna do that. But look, I made something. Ashes. I wonder if they're important. Can I eat them? Can I plant them? Can I examine them? I guess we should eat something. This seems like a bad situation again. I don't have any light now. Oh wow. That's pretty lucky. Alright, so we figured out that we need certain items or we won't be able to move very far into the game. So I'm just going around clicking on everything I can click on and picking up everything I can pick up. With the goal in mind that we do want to probably start some sort of like survival camp, things like, hey, finally, all right, now let's make our pickaxe and grab this carrot, and I'm pretty sure I saw, yeah, look at this. Now, why is that different? Must be something different about it. Let's go ahead, try one of these first. So we got nitrate, flint, flint, rocks, 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 okay? Let's do this one and see what it gives us. Shh. Seems like it would give us something different. Gold nugget. I wonder what that's for. 
My inventory is full. So I guess we gotta drop it. Let's eat this. Let's eat this. Let's eat this. Alright, rocks, plant, gold nugget, rocks. So it's... Looks like I'm pretty limited in inventory. Alright, I've got six rocks. We need 12 for that big fire. No reason to leave anything laying around. Rocks, rocks, nitrate, flint, flint, rocks. We are rocking it. All right, we've got enough for our big fire. So let's just go ahead and, hey look, there's food here and we're close to some rocks. This seems like as good a place as any to build this fire pit thing. So it looks like you pick it and then you click it. And there we go. Now we've got a fire pit. Now we've got all this food. I wonder if we can cook it. Seems like you should be able to cook food, right? Can I? Okay. I don't know how that works, but there we go. It seemed to work a little better, so that's good. Alright, what else can we do? Seems like we might need more stuff. I don't know. None of this has popped up yet except for this trap that we made, which we have right here. I think we should put these over these little holes, because that's where the rabbits go in. Um, use a science machine to build a prototype. Okay, so it looks like I can't build any of this until I make one of these science machines. I need logs and four more rocks. Well, I've got a tree right there, but let's go get there. Let's, uh, let's work on these rocks some more. One, two, three. We need one more. We'll hit this up. Uh-oh. We have to build another pickaxe, apparently. All right, so we should have paid attention. There are percentage markers that show how long an item lasts and how much gets eaten away from it per whack. So what else do we need for that again? Logs. All right, let's throw our axe back in. Do, 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 do. Oh. The science thing's been green, so we'll add that to our science related base. Boom! Now we can build a lot more stuff. Uh, that doesn't look good. Cooked food is always better for you than regular food. It's science. We've got a nice little, uh, little yard going here in the house. If we had some way to, like, clean this up, that would be really cool. Let's see what all this stuff can do to this science machine. So when we stand near it, it shows us all this stuff with a light. So that lets me dig things up. That's a backpack to carry more stuff. Oh, we definitely need that. Let's go ahead and make it. All right, now we've got an extended inventory. Sweet. What else can we make? So we've got some new menu items too, like food. We can make a farm or an improved farm, but we need an alchemy engine and a lot of other things. An alchemy engine needs cut stone, gold, and boards. I don't know how to make boards yet. I'm betting it's under... It's not structure. Refine. Okay. So this will let me make rope. Let's try out making rope. Hey, look. That opened up something else. I can make a ham bat. Why can I make a ham bat? Oh, no. It's a spear. It was hung. Okay. You never know when you might need a spear. So let's go ahead and make one. Um... So... Where did that shovel go? Didn't we... Oh, we didn't make it. I don't guess we'll be digging anything up, but it would be nice to have another... 
Yeah, this big tree. Because we definitely don't want our light to go out. It sounds like bad things come. How do I get that log? Rotate. Oh, okay. Ah! It would have been nice for that to have been pointed out without me having to look down here and seeing. But the job still got done, so. Can we make it bigger? Hey, we can. So that seems pretty simple. Collect things, build things, then build more things. Um, we've already experienced cold, so there's probably something else we need to do. Let's cook these berries. To be able to do things. So overall... I would say, even without a tutorial, this is pretty easy to at least begin to grasp. Um, now, if it's anything like other survival games of the genre, I would definitely say that there's going to be some really weird stuff show up that won't make sense at first. And that might frustrate a lot of players just because they won't know what to do with it. And they'll either leave it where it is, or waste it, or, you know, use it inappropriately, just because they don't know about it. So, this is definitely going to be one of those games where if you want to excel quickly, uh, without dying and not surviving, you're going to need to research. You're going to have to look it up online, watch some YouTube videos, things of that nature. This is, uh, I wouldn't say right now, I can't say for sure, we've only been playing for three days per game time, and... It's not that hard yet, as far as collecting things, eating things, and then moving about your business. But I'm pretty sure there's more of a goal than just surviving. Uh, there's usually always a goal. Uh, originally Minecraft didn't really have that goal, but it has a goal similar to that now. So that's definitely what we're seeing here too, is that there's, we can build a lot of different machines. So there's probably a reason to build said machines. Uh, let's see if we can get that alchemy engine real quick while we're here. What did we need for that? Planks, those things and more gold. So let's get the gold first because we're gonna need the rocks anyway. kind of nice that rocks and flint are two separate things so I don't feel like I'm having to double dig just to continue digging if that makes sense all right I think that's enough gold let's check yeah it's enough gold so what are these cut stone so that's probably refined right yeah Okay, looks like we can do that, but we need more trees. So let's get our handy dandy axe out and find a tree or two. There's one. Well, that didn't give me anything. What's that noise? Free rocks. And remember, just like when camping, always leave the environment oh, better than you found it. So we'll plant some trees since we've cut down some trees. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, can't plant them there. Bloop, bloop. There we go. We've planted more trees than we've cut down so far, just right there alone. A lot of humming over here. It sounds like bees. Sure that we can take on some bees. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's equip that spear. That's uh, 
probably a better way to fight. Uh oh. They sent a lot out. Let's leave those bees alone. <laughs> Pretty sure I should be able to kill a bee with a spear, but now I know better. Thanks, game. So combat is definitely not in our favor in this game. Oh, look! We've caught something. Let's check the trap. Alright, so we've got a rabbit that we can apparently murder and a trap. And it's weaker. Let's put it back on this hole maybe we'll catch another rabbit. Let's murder this rabbit. Alright. Oh, our fire's gone. But first, we want to build that alchemy machine. We need four boards and two cut stones. So. We now have... Oh, we can make a thermal measurer. But we want this alchemy thing first, I think. And uh, the cut stone. So this is kind of nice. You can just kind of click on the same thing. Until it goes dark again. Okay, so we need even more trees. Hey, look, there's some here. So let's put our axe back in. That is going to disappear soon. Ah. Oh. Well, you made the axe, didn't you? Oh, you didn't. focusing on that alchemy machine and it looks like we probably should have been focusing on food. I'm not sure but I'm guessing the more stuff we do the faster we get hungry. That sounds about right. Or you know, realistic. Within realistic terms anyway. We really need a lot of logs just for these boards. You kind of have to <laughs> clear cut an entire forest to build stuff. That's pretty destructive if you ask me so we should probably be chopping down bigger trees to get more logs at least that seems logical but we're just chopping down all the trees cuz we don't like happy little trees and we don't like happy big trees all right nope that's whoa what did i do there that was the three key, so apparently that does something. That lets you switch equipment. Oh, does that work across the number board? So like if I press one, yeah, okay. That's handy. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's press eight. Okay, so it just, it just does um, whatever left click does, apparently. Or right click, hover. <laughs> oh, we better get back to wherever the crap our camp is. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I think it's up here. Oh, it's going to be dark soon. Is it over here? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Can we... There we go. Anything for fuel because we don't want to destroy our little logs. We need a ton of them. Alright, now we've got this thing called an alchemy engine. Which looks really weird. Yay! Now let's eat some of them. Let's cook these. can't cook them, so... I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. Oh, that didn't sound good. Alright, so now we can do more structure and tools? No. At least more structures. A stone wall... 
Yeah, but everything is available now. So everything's red. I can build all of this stuff. Magic. Okay, so if we want to build anything in the magic, we need to press the... Uh, yeah, press... Press the... Hatitator? Oh, it's a magic hat. So that's gonna need... Can we stand between both of them? Does that do anything? So now we have the the tools and structures to survive, it seems. Um, but overall, I still wouldn't say I have a firm grasp as to what's going to happen in this game. I'm not really led into any sort of forced questing or anything like that. This is really just a survival game at its, at its base level. It's very stylized as well, but we're not really doing a review here. We're just talking about, can we start playing the game without doing research? I say yes. It's definitely simplistic enough that you can get started, but I have a pretty good feeling that you're going to have to work really hard with time management and food and management to even begin to, to get by in this game. And I can't even tell why this goes down at night or what I'm supposed to do about it. So that would be some, I don't know what happens when I run out of mind. I don't know if he goes crazy or what. Um, but that seems to be the end of the video, guys. So don't starve. You can definitely start playing it without too much of a tutorial. It's not needed. Uh, there's not a lot of things that need to be explained to get you going and get you through a lot. But I'm guessing that as you advance through more of the different items that are available, like a divining rod, uh, it sounds like a compass or something, but you've got to find nightmare fuel. No idea how to collect that. Uh, we haven't run across any yet. A rainometer, that seems simple enough. And a thermal measurer, also simple. Gunpowder, you've got to get a rotten egg. Uh, birds don't seem to be laying any eggs. Uh, a lightning rod, protects from strikes, so lightning is coming. Uh, let's see what kind of structures. A chest, that makes sense. A sign, no idea before. A wood hall, wood wall, that makes sense. You want to be defensive. A pig house. Shelters one pig. So, I guess those houses that we saw before, but you need to build them? A rabbit hutch. Houses a giant rabbit and all his stuff. Bird cage. So maybe that's how you get eggs. Get a bird and put it in a bird cage. Uh, build your own road to nowhere. <laughs> So there's a there's a lot of um, stuff that comes up in here. Broken shell and foliage. What? Where do I get this stuff? I don't know. I don't know how to get it. I mean, this this would be from fall, you know, when the leaves fall off the trees. But I don't know what season it is, and I don't know if uh, what were those other things we saw earlier in science. There's a thermal measurer, so that'll tell me if it's warm or cold, I guess. And that's going to tell me if it rains, but neither one of those things seem to be relative to any sort of season other than... So, okay, this will let me fix clothes. So I'm going to need clothes. Okay, so maybe this helps my mind. Soothes the nerves. Beefalo hat. Be one with the herd. Smell included. Oh, that would have helped out against the bees. I didn't know I needed that. Good to know now. So there's lots of stuff here. And it's not exactly armor, it's just hats and breezy vests. What is this thing? Koalifant trunk. I have not seen one of those yet, so there must be somewhere. So it looks like the Construction guide is going to get you some of the way. You're going to have to figure out how to harvest said materials. Uh, and like I said, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave some feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what kind of games you want me to do a tutorial on. So I can let you know what's coming for you if you purchase the, the game. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.